All right, uh, let's go ahead and multiply these two, and both of these are to the fourth root. Again, the, the index has to be the same for us to multiply uh, two quantities like this. What has to be the same? The index. Uh, so right here I've got an index of 4 and here an index of 4, which allows us to multiply these. So I end up with the fourth root of x to the power of 7 times 65, 61y. And we're going to divide this by 81 y to the fifth times x squared. So from here, we're just going to use the exponent rules inside that radical in order to simplify this. And so let's just look here at the base x's. So this is the same as x to the power of 7 minus 2 which would give us x to the power of 5 because these two would cancel out two of these from the 7 okay and yes this is all the fourth root of whatever the heck this is going to be now let's look at the number I've got 65 61 divided by 81 which I believe is 81 and then I've got my y's here I've got y to the power of 1 which will cancel out one of these five, which in the denominator would give me y to the power of four. What I did have, just from the y's, so I would have had the fourth root of, this would have been one minus five, which would have given me y to the power of one, I'm sorry, negative four. Now if I reciprocate that, then I would have had the fourth root of one over y to the power of four, which is kind of what I did in this, I just took this y to the power of 4 and put it in the denominator um, of this full fraction because I can make this times 1 here, 1 over y to the power of 4. But when I multiply the two fractions, I would get a simplified form this right here. Why do you subtract from the All right, so let's split this thing up. We are going to have the fourth root of whatever the heck this is going to be. 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then I've got x times x times x times x times x. Um, all right, and then I'm going to divide this by 1, 2, 3, 4. Now here's the thing with division. We'll do this in the next section, actually. But um, if we take something out of a radical and it's in the denominator then it stays in the denominator. If it comes out of the numerator, then it stays in the numerator, all right? So what this means is right here, I've got a group of four threes. So this is going to end up being, I can pull those threes out. Right here, I can pull out one X from those four X's. And in the denominator, I can pull out a Y as well. And then all I have left in the radical is just this x right here and that right there looks pretty uh, pretty simplified to me oh yeah thank you uh, <laughs> that's a fourth root there color coding makes that easier to